Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new, my name is Nikita from the Jarrett Family Official over on Instagram and this video is going to be a little bit of something different. If you are new here and you um, haven't watched any of the videos before, my sister-in-law Jen, she offered to be our surrogate and she will be 26 weeks pregnant um, this Saturday. Um, so today's Tuesday, so on Saturday will be 26 weeks. Um, it's absolutely flying by at the moment. So if you would like to follow our journey on um, the baby and our surrogacy journey, then do make sure you subscribe as well. So as you've probably guessed by the title of the video, um, this is just going to be testing out different nappies, seeing what they're like, seeing which one's best value for money, which one holds the most, which one, you know, leaks. Um, I mean, obviously because we're now looking at things like this, like nappies and which nappy to use. Like you look, you go look at nappies, you go out shopping into like supermarkets and look at nappies and there's about a hundred different brands of nappies and you don't know which one's best, you don't know which one to go for, you don't know which one's um, going to have the less harsh ingredients because we all want obviously the best for our babies, we don't want to put on a nappy that's obviously been dyed in bleach and stuff like that. So I've got five different brands of nappies to try and I've bought some blue dye so I'm going to put some blue dye in some water and I'm going to see, test, put the same amount of water in each nappy and test which one holds the most, um, which one, I'll move them around, see which ones leak, which ones um, obviously keep the water inside. I haven't got a, um, a bag for this because I shucked it away but we've got the Pampers Pure and we have Pampers New Baby and then we have Asda's Little Angels then we have Tesco's Fred and Flo and finally Aldi's Mamia Mam Mamia however you pronounce it, newborn nappies. Um, these aren't the original, the, these are the premium ones um, that they have now. Um, and it said it's got dry fast technology, so it helps skin stay fresh and dry for longer. So there's five different brands. Um, I mean, three of them are supermarkets, the other two are a well-known brand Pampers. So it will be good to see if the dearer ones, what you pay for, you do get better protection and you do get less leaky nappies and they do hold um, more and stay dry inside. So I've just worked it out on my phone, the price of each nappy. So the Pampers Pure, um, you get 35 in a pack for £8. So it works out at 2 pence per nappy, which is obviously not too bad. Um, especially for a well-known brand of Pampers. And these are the Pure ones as well, so they say that they don't obviously um, include any like harsh ingredients or anything like that, it's all natural ingredients. So that's two pence per nappy. And the Mamaya Newborn Premiums, that's 22, you get a pack of 22 for 99p. So that works out at 0 0.045 pence per nappy, which is nothing really, it's absolutely ridiculous, 99p for a pack of 22. Um, so really when you think about that you're expecting these to be not that good for the price. Um, I mean people do say you pay for what you get and we'll obviously see if that's true or not. And the Fred and Flo ones you get 25 in a pack for 89p so that works out even cheaper and this is the cheapest of all five and that works out at 0 0.035 pence per nappy. And then the Pampers New Baby, you get 22 in a pack for £3.50. So these are the dearest and it works out at 15 pence per nappy. So if you think about that when you're changing a newborn's nappy, it, is, um, it obviously does add up at 15 pence per nappy. So they're the dearest out of all of them. 
and then the Asda's Little Angels you get 24 in a pack for 89p so that works out at 0.037 pence per nappy so that's just the price of them all so the um, Tesco's Fred and Flo were the cheapest out of them all per nappy and the Pampers New Baby are also the dearest at 15p per nappy so we'll test out now I'll um, get one out of a pack and just um, test out the design and um, the features that they've got on the nappies like the wetness indicator and um, like the tabs and everything where you can see where you need to size up and then obviously have a feel of the material in the um, nappy as well okay guys so these are all the nappies I've had to do it um, over here because Simba decided to fall asleep over there in the middle of the room but I've just put a towel down just so the carpet doesn't get ruined because of the dye that I'm going to be putting on them so we've got the Pampers Pure we've got the Mamiya Mamiya Aldi I'm just going to call it Mamiya we've got Fred and Flo which is Tesco and then we have Little Angels which is Asda's and then Pampers New Baby and I'll just zoom out a little bit because the first thing that I actually realised was the size difference of them all when I put them out I mean the difference between the Aldi one and the rest of them it's like a different size I mean especially compared to the Pampers Pure I think the Pampers Pure are really big um, and the Aldi one just looks so tiny compared to all the rest so that's the first thing that I noticed and um, the second thing that I noticed was they all have the wetness indicator on so the yellow line that goes down here and it turns blue when they have had a wee or when the nappy's wet so they've all got that on I'd say that it's probably the most clearest on the Fred and Flo and the Asda one's really really um, bright on the front of that one so they've all got the wetness indicator on the front of them now we'll have a look at how the um, material feels on the nappy so first of all I'm going to start with the Pampers Pure so it does feel very soft and it's got two little cute little otters on the front of it and on the back it's got otters as well and when you open it up you have got the sides and then obviously the stretchy bit on the leg there and on the other side as well and I think they're obviously keep to keep the um, wetness in as well and if you can see on the camera yeah I think that's picking it up it's got quite a few like different holes all around the nappy so instead of certain sections like some nappies it's got like little holes all around the nappy so it looks like the wa like the water or the wee would be spread out rather than just in certain sections of the nappy so that's the Pampers PR Mamiya nappy from Aldi's it's got a cute little bear on the front there again the wetness indicator and it's just plain on the back and if you open this one up it has again got the sides and then the stretchy bits again like the Pampers PR and again on the other side and again this one does feel uh, soft inside but you can see that it's sectioned you see inside there so there's a panel down the middle there's a panel on the left and there's a panel on the right so the cushiony bit inside looks like it is sectioned so we'll see how that holds as well I forgot to mention as well on the Pampers Pure it does have a bit that you can fold down so the tabs don't actually start until there so obviously with the umbilical cord you can fold the front down 
or fold it over and then you can still use the tabs as well just so it's a bit lower on the belly and um, it doesn't have the marks for the um for the tabs so when you fasten it sometimes they have marks to say when you need to size up or when it's too tight and um, it doesn't have them on the pampers pr and again it doesn't have them on the aldi one either not that i can see of so it does say on the Aldi packet there, if I can just get that to focus, that if you, the nappy looks like this, then it is just right. And then if the tabs are wide, then obviously you need to size up. But it doesn't actually show anything on the nappy. So you kind of got to uh, guess with that one. The Fred and Flo, the Tesco one. This one does feel a bit plasticky on the outside. Not, not sure if you can hear that, but it doesn't feel as cottony as the other ones. It does feel a bit plasticky. Um, if we open it up, it's got the legs and then the stretchy bits again. And this does feel a lot harder inside than the other ones. It doesn't feel as cushioned. It just feels like it's got, you can maybe see the light um, like bouncing off of the material. It's like a plasticky material. Normally it feels like a waterproof material, like if something were to hit it would just kind of fall off. But we'll see if it soaks the water in. One thing that I do like about this one is it does have a tab indicator. So obviously once you fasten it. If the tabs are in the yellow, you're fine. If they're going to the grey, it does mean you need to size up. So I do like that about the Tesco one as well. And now we have the Asda's Little Angels nappies. Again, this does feel a little bit plasticky. You might be able to hear it on the camera. Try to put it up to the microphone. But compared to these that feel a bit cushiony, these feel a bit plasticky on the outside. This and the Tesco one. Open it there. And again, it's got the um, the outside bit and then it has got a stretchy bit for the legs as well. And this one is very sectioned on the inside. If you can see the two lines in the middle there, um, there's a massive panel there and then a massive panel there and a massive panel there so these are very sections so I'm not sure how it will pan out when we put the water in but we'll see how this one holds so that's the Asda Little Angels and finally we've got the Pampers new baby oh sorry I forgot to mention on the Little Angels um, they do have um, obviously it has the wetness indicator but, um, and they do have like the tab lines as well so if you are going out of the tab lines you know when to size up um, this is the Pampers new baby so it's got a cute design on there and it's plain on the back and got the stretchy bit and then a bit that goes around the leg there and when you open this up this is exactly same as the Pampers Pure so if you can see it has got the little holes again like the Pampers Pure we'll just get that one again so maybe it's their design that they use on both of them but they are both the same, that's the Pampers Pure and that's the new baby, so they're both the same they've both got little um, little holes all around rather than a sectioned panel to hold the wetness in so that's the Pampers new baby, it does have the wetness indicator on again and don't think it has anywhere for the tabs it just has a panel here and it has, ah it does have some yellow dark yellow lines there so I'm guessing if the tabs go outside of the lines then maybe you need to size up it just depends if that's really important to you as well 
Um, so that's all the nappies on how they feel, the material of them. Um, I would say that the Pampers Pro are quite big. I mean, I can imagine that drowning. <laughs> it's only a size one, but it is massive compared to, say, the Aldi. It's like this big. So there is a massive size difference there between the two. Um, but now I will put um, get the water and the dye and we'll see how much they can all hold. So this is all the nappies open. So we've got the Pampers Pure, Mamia Aldi ones, Fred and Flo Tesco, the Pampers New Baby, which now I've opened up seem very, very thin. We'll see. And the Little Angels one. So what I've done is I've put some water in a bottle and put some blue dye in so you can hopefully see it. And then I've got a measuring jug so I can put the same amount in each nappy and then we'll do it again just to see how much they can hold and when they do start leaking as well. So I'm going to start with putting two fluid ounce in each one. So this is the Pampers Pure. And hopefully you can see this alright from this angle. But I'll pour this in. All the front and the back. Give it a little tip. So that's the Pampers Pure. It does look like, I don't know if you can see some wetness on the top. There is a lot of wetness sitting on top, but we'll give it a bit to soak in. So I'll start that. So I'll time three minutes on my phone, and then I'm going to get a bit of kitchen roll on each one and just dab it on, just to see um, how much water's left on top. If it's soaked it in well, um, yeah, because obviously your baby's bum's going to be on this nappy when they're having a wee, so you want really for it to be as dry as possible on the inside you want it, that um, material on the inside to soak up all the wetness you don't want it just sat on top there so i'll time three minutes and then we'll come back and see if it's soaked in or not okay so the two three minutes is up so we'll get a bit of kitchen roll and see how much has actually soaked into the nappy oh. So as you can see straight away, I've put the kitchen roll on top of the nappy. I didn't even press down and it's already sticking to the nappy. So that's not very good. And just press down on that. And as you can see, the kitchen roll is quite wet from the Pampers PR. And that's after three minutes and I put two ounce oh, and I put two ounce of water in there so that's the Pampers PR so next is the Mamia the Aldi one I'm just gonna pour the two fluid ounce into there And as you can see, that's in there now. And I'll start the three minute timer and then we'll see how much has soaked in after the three minutes again. Okay, so that's the three minutes up on this one. So again, we'll get the piece of kitchen roll. And there's, it's a tiny, tiny bit damp, as you can see when it's like the kitchen rolls indented in a little bit, but it's not wet at all. It just feels damp. Oh, sorry, there is a little bit there. But compared to the Pampers Pure, which was this one, 
which was absolutely soaked. It's not wet at all in the Mamma Mia one. So that's the Aldi one. Now we're on to Fred and Flo, so the Tesco nappy. And again, I've got the two ounce of water. As you can see, this one's like really soaked. You can see the, the blue dye on this one. It does look like it's disappearing into the uh, into the nappy quite a bit. But we'll give that another three minutes again and see how damp it is on the surface. So the three minutes is up for the Fred and Flo Tesco nappy. So we'll just see how that's done on the surface. Right, so after three minutes, um, my hands absolutely soaked. Um, the kitchen rolls absolutely soaked. If you can see, it's soaked, it'll probably tear. So the Fred and Flo is very wet on the surface still after three minutes compared to obviously um, the dry one, that was the Mamiya one. Um, so the Fred and Flo unfortunately doesn't hold anything just by the looks of it. So now we've got the Asda Little Angels nappy and again I've got the two fluid ounce of water. We'll pour that all on there. As you can see that's soaking in. You can see the blue disappearing. It is, does look like it's soaking in but it's kind of the blue is getting lighter so it's soaking into the material. We'll see how that goes in three minutes. So the three minutes is up for the little angels, the Asda one. So we'll see how well that's soaked in. I'm giving them all the same amount of pressure, not putting more pressure on one and not the other. Um, again, with the Asda one, just like the Tesco one, my hand is really wet. And so is the kitchen roll, as you can see there. Not as wet as the Tesco one, but obviously look, it is still really wet. So the Asda one doesn't seem to hold much either. And now we'll move on to the Pampers and New Baby. So again, we'll put the two fluid ounce liquid in. Again, like the other Pampers one, you can see droplets on the top. Can you see that there? There are droplets that just seem to sit on the top of Pampers. But again, we'll leave that three minutes like the rest and see um, if it's soaked in or not after then. So it's been three minutes on the Pampers new way bit and just to show you, i um, not sure if the camera will pick it up but can you see the droplets? They've still stayed on top, they haven't soaked in. Which is quite worrying because this is Pampers what the claim is specifically for a new baby. So you'd have thought it would have had that extra protection, that extra um, like dryness for them so they don't get irritated. And I can feel my hands quite wet through the kitchen roll. And yeah, it is quite wet just like the Pampers one, which is surprising because they're the most expensive out of the five. But the Pampers new baby is quite wet again. So we've done them all now, so we'll have a feel of what they're like. So the Pampers one doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't look like it's puffed up or anything much inside. But obviously it did leak after the three minute mark. 
the Mamiya one was the driest probably of them all but you can see the blue more so I'm not sure if it just locks it in on the Mamiya ones you can see that it does have the sections inside but it is very dry and the Fred and Flow again I just think this feels really thin and not well made at all um, I can still feel the wetness now through the nappy so that's not soaked in well at all and um, the Little Angels one this has puffed up quite a bit um, it looks like it has like a three different sections on here and it has puffed up quite a bit so it is quite chunky and obviously I don't think that would be very comfortable on your skin it's gone quite quite hard at the edges and the Pampers new baby again um, that's not sectioned it does look soft on the outside but again it is quite wet especially on the outsides here um, I mean here is really wet and which where there is no padding so I mean that may come out the sides and leak so yeah that's all the nappies um, so I'm gonna just for the fun of it because they've all uh, some of them have held well some of them have not I'm gonna put another two ounce in all five of them and then see uh, what happens then to them all So I've just waited five minutes after putting the liquid, the second lot of liquid, so there should be four ounces on each nappy now. So I've just waited for five minutes, sorry. So I'll just see how wet they all are now. I put them all on at the same time, one after another, just because I don't want it dragging too much. It's a bit boring uh, waiting for each one. But again, the Pampers Pure absolutely soaked obviously this is four ounce so you probably would change a nappy before now but just it, it's the same as the first one on the two ounce and then we've got the Mamiya the Aldi one a little bit of wetness there but again still quite dry just there and there but quite impressed with the Mamiya one to be honest um, yeah still quite dry on that one the Fred and Flo Tesco nappy again absolutely soaked I mean this is probably the worst you can even see my handprint like Yeah, that one's not good at all in the Tesco one. Um, it was the same on the first one. And now we'll do the Asda Little Angels nappy. Um, again, it's come through to my hand. It's quite wet. I will put them down here and show you afterwards. It's quite it's be better to see on the, um, the dark towel. And then the Pampers New Baby which is again quite wet as well so I'll just show you them now so the Pampers Pure this was the kitchen roll after four fluid ounce um, it was about the same on two fluid ounce as well so that didn't hold anything um, in to be honest it just sat on the surface and we're looking at this because you don't want your baby's your baby's bum's going to be next to this nappy basically so you want the nappy to be as dry as possible when it's on their skin but this one Pampers Pure it's really 
wet um, on the surface. The blue line, it has gone blue, so that is good. Just checking if it's leaked anywhere. I mean, we can't really check for leaks because it's not on an actual baby, but again, this one's quite, it has puffed up quite a bit on these three sections. The Mamiya one, which I'm very impressed with. Hardly nothing on the kitchen roll again. Even though you can see the blue in there, it is completely dry. Like literally nothing on there. And it's stayed in this position as well, so I think the leg, even though they're very, very soft, I think they're very reliable as well. But yeah, that's dry as that. Um, again, the wetness indicator, uh, that's gone like a, it's gone like a greeny colour. It's definitely not yellow, but it's gone like a greeny colour. And that one has gone into sections. But it's not, it's quite soft still, where this one's puffed out quite a bit. And the thread and floor, um, again, very, very disappointing on the surface test. It is absolutely soaked inside, along the sides. Um, the wetness indicator, I mean, that's probably more yellow than that one. It's not really gone blue. It's completely yellow at the back and the bottom. So, I mean, there's four fluid ounce in there. So if you did check to see if your baby had a wee and it was still yellow, and I mean, you can judge for yourself, but if you were relying on the indicator, it's not very well. But this is absolutely soaked. And the little angels, again, really wet on the surface this one is absolutely huge this bit has puffed up so much i can imagine it i can't imagine this being comfortable at all um if you can see it's separated itself from the nappy it's gone into its own little section um and it's just really really if you can see it's really hard it's um yeah i can't imagine that being comfortable at all sitting on that the wetness indicator has gone blue. Again, look, I can barely fold the nappy because this bit is just bulging out. So that's the little angels one. And then the Pampers new baby. I thought this was going to be good because Obviously, it's advertised for new babies, but again, all the water just sat on the surface and it still does feel quite damp um, and yeah, it is really wet. The wetness indicator has gone blue, so that's good. The sections, um, they are the same as the Pampers Pure, um, like these ones, but they haven't bulged up as much. Um, they are a lot flatter and softer. So, and again, it's flat inside, but it is really, really wet to touch. So that's all the ones there. We'll now have a look at the tabs on the nappies. So the tabs on the Pampers Pure just come out at the sides. And then, like I said, they have got a marking. So, so they are quite solid. The Mamiya ones. Again, quite solid. Thread and floor. Um, they are sticking, but they are quite um, like the tags are really, really thin. And then they don't stick very well. Look, it's just just coming back off again. 
So that's the Fred and Flo ones. And the Little Angels nappies. These tags are very, very small compared to the other ones. I'll just try put this over now. Sorry, I'm just trying to do it one-handed while I'm holding the camera as well. There we go. So the tags, yep, they do hold quite well. And again, they've got the tag indicators on as well. And the Pampers new baby. Uh, they're practically the same as the Pampers Pure. It is um, designed practically the same as the Pampers Pure. Yep, quite. Oh. See, it were okay on the first stick, but now it is coming off a little bit. But obviously, you're only going to stick it once until you remove it again. But yeah. So all of them are fine, um, that's not got a tab indicator on there, so I think the only ones with the tab indicators are the Little Angels, um, the Fred and Flo, they had the ones like that. Um, Mamiya, yeah, it did tell you on the packet that if the tabs go so far wide then to go size up, and the Pampers Pure it do have these bits on there as well. So there are all the nappies done now, um, obviously to say the price on some of them was absolutely ridiculous on how they held the water and all the stuff that sat on the surface. It was very surprising. Um, I thought ones that were branded new baby or that were branded obviously a little bit dearer were going to be better but that wasn't the case at all. Um, so I've like rated them from one to five. So number one, um, I'll start with the worst. So the worst was Number five, Fred and Flo at Tesco. Absolutely ridiculous. It didn't hold the water. The tabs didn't stick to the sides. Um, yeah, it was really thin and it didn't feel like it was going to hold anything to start off with, but it was really, really thin. Um, no padding inside at all. It felt like plastic on the outside. So yeah, Fred and Flo. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use them at all, absolute no. And number four, I mean, number two, three and four were practically the same. Um, but number four is Asda's. When it had quite a lot of water on it, it just, it had three sections on it and it just blew up, did the nappy inside. Um, it turned into its own little, little swimmer's nappy or something. Like it just blew up in the middle, like it were in a, in a bath. I can't imagine that being comfy for them at all. Again, after the two ounce and after the four ounce, it was completely soaked on the surface. So, yeah, you don't want all the water on your baby's bum after they've been to the toilet. So, that was a no no. The Pampers New Baby, which is branded New Baby. Um, I'd have thought that I'd have obviously soaked in the water a lot more. I mean, I don't know what it says on there. But it says ultimate so softness and then it says up to 12 hours all around leakage protection. I mean, I don't know if the leak because we're just trying it on the floor. We've not got a baby that moves around and sleeps in certain positions, but I'm not sure if the leak or not. But the dryness, you'd have thought that if they'd have done this for a new baby then the dryness would have been obviously soaked into the nappy as soon as possible so it doesn't irritate the baby's bum so yeah i was a bit disappointed with pampers new baby but because it didn't blow up and um, like the asda one i had to put that before the asda one the pampers pure i haven't got a bag for that one but the pampers pure um again very wet on the surface didn't soak in the moisture at all so that was a no again i only put it before the pampers one because it's pampers pure it's got less harmful ingredients um so yeah i was disappointed by that one as well and these are like 15p per nappy so i mean if you're paying 15 pence per nappy it doesn't sound a lot but when the babies and you're changing nappies constantly 
you're gonna go through a lot of nappies and that that adds up does a 15p per nappy so pampas pr again no um mamia if i'm saying that correctly um again it says extra gentle leg elastics you saw that it stayed upright wetness indicator that went green it did change color and um, obviously cord friendly i think they were all cord friendly so you can obviously um put that down if they have got the cord to protect it so it doesn't rub on there um, and it does say it is advertised these are the premium ones and it is advertised as dry fast so it does say help skin stay fresh and dry so i'm not sure what they have put in there but yeah i think they're amazing i mean you get i'll just see if it says so dry fast technology breathable layer stretchy waistband uh, fast absorbent core locks away wetness quickly and evenly evenly which i completely agree on um it it practically does um what it says and it says that these are regularly tested against a leading brand so obviously they've created these after testing them with other brands and they've got it spot on as far as far as uh as far as i'm concerned it soaked in completely dry even after the four ounce of water after the kitchen roll was on top the kitchen roll was completely dry um i can't moan about it at all it soaked in really quick it didn't um even though it did soak in really quick it didn't kind of bulge out so it still kept quite soft and flat inside yeah i mean for a pack of 22 and i think they're not i think the plain ones like the normal ones not the premium ones are even cheaper but they might not be as good because obviously we didn't test them so but the premium ones 99p for a pack of 22 i mean you can't go wrong at all and then you then you'd pay so much for these i mean it's a no-brainer really so i'm really glad that i've done this obviously we're gonna go with the aldi mamiya ones I mean 99p a pack the cheap they do what they say they're gonna do um yeah so we're gonna go with the aldi ones i hope you've all enjoyed this video I, it might have been a bit boring um it was just a bit something different just in case you're stuck trying to find a nappy because i know how daunting it is going into a supermarket and seeing all these brands and then being like i don't know which is best for my baby i don't know which is not going to leak i don't know which is going to hold the most and you know it is um whenever you find a baby product there's about 10 of each product and you're thinking i don't even know which one to go for because i don't know which one's the best because i've never had a baby before um if it's your first um so yeah i'm glad i've done this uh because normally people would just go for the name i mean if people have heard pampers you see pampers advert on the tv and you would just go for pampers i mean everyone goes for the leading brand because they think they're the best but in this case unfortunately pampers um didn't do it for me and um, they just stayed wet on the surface so we'll go for aldi like i say i hope you've enjoyed this video was a bit of something different but i hope that it's helped and um, let me know below what you think of all the nappies that you've used i mean some of you may not have had problems with pampers before i've heard a few people have had irritations from them and they've had to switch to a different brand but it might work for some people it might not work for others i mean it's your own personal choice at the end of the day nobody's um saying to get this nappy to get that nappy but hopefully it's a um, major decision a bit easier so um if you have liked the video give it a thumbs up and like i say comment below let me know what nappy you decided to use or which you're deciding to um, buy for your new baby subscribe if you are new I'm going to be doing more baby related videos like this when we do start with obviously we're buying more baby products now and um, getting ready for us baby coming in October and um, if you want to follow our surrogacy journey as well I do put regular updates on there we have got our 4D scan next Saturday which I can't wait for so um, if you want to follow our journey subscribe uh, we really do appreciate every subscriber and we're hoping to get to 100 by the end of the year so um yeah um i'll see you all in the next one bye guys